In addition to your roof panels and your wall panels, if you ordered windows, you'll get your window glass along with your tracks and seals and the hardware, but we'll go over that later. Now that we have our door frame in, we're going to show you how to do the windows. If you purchased windows, we have two different ways you can put them in, just whichever way is easier for you. As you notice, we have two different window templates. One's for a horizontal, the other one is for a vertical. If, if you would like, you can put your tracks on first and then cut your window out, or you can put your template on, trace around it, cut your window out, and then put your tracks on, whichever is easiest for you. Okay, we're going to show you on a blank sheet how to put your windows in instead of cutting it on the actual blind, just for illustration purposes. So you can put your panel on there. Once you figure out the height that you want your window or where you want to put it, is all you have to do is make a small mark on the corners. Or you can trace out the whole paper if you'd like. Go ahead and put your line on it. Okay, you can use, get you a straight edge here and cut out your, your panel. That's one way to do it. Now, whenever you run your razor knife on this material, what you'll want to do is do a lot of light passes instead of a heavy pass. That way, you won't get off of your line. Now that we have it cut out, just pop the piece out of there. And you may want to keep this piece for a patch later or if you want to put the window back in one time or another. Now you go to align your track up with your window. You're going to want it flush on the sides and hold it flush with the top of your window opening. Then you can set your board here and then pull your track back and pull the back off of it. The back side of your tracks have a two-sided automotive tape on them. This is just peel and stick. Now you can, you can insert one end of your window into the track. Put your window square on your, on your panel. Then you can start peeling this back off of your, your track. We're going to stick this window down. Assemble the track on the other side of your window. Align everything, then you can peel your tape off. And stick your window down. Now that you have the first part of your track stuck down, slide your window down. Then you can peel the rest of your tape back and stick down. You may not want to put your top seal on if you're going to fold the panels back up and take into the field and then reassemble because the corners here will make marks on your next panel. So you can always put this on last after your final assembly. Now we've peeled the tape off the back of our window seal at the top. Let's align it on the center to the top of the tracks and stick it down. Your window installation is the same either if it's vertical or horizontal, it's just that your tracks and your seal will be a different length. Now that we have the window installed, you want to go on the inside, peel and stick your window pool You'll want to put it on the top center so that it's against the top of the seal whenever the window goes up. Some guys have found over time that their windows may creak down when they're not in their blind due to the wind beating on the blind or the sun gets the tracks hot. But an easy fix for that is to take a drill and drill through the plastic right below your window when it's in the up position. Now from the inside, you can either just stick in a golf tee, a wooden dowel, or a nail, or whatever you, whatever you find to use. There's a second way you can install the windows without using the template that we provide for you. You can install the tracks and the windows first, then cut out the opening. 
First determine where you want the windows from the top and make you a mark on the panel on each end for your top seal. Peel off your tape and then you can stick the seal down onto the blind. Also wipe the rub wipe the blind down with rubbing alcohol to make sure you have no oil or anything on the blind. Okay now we have the uh, we're gonna install the horizontal window. If you notice here we put two windows in the glass and that's going to hold your track square so once you have it lined up leave a little bit of slack on the edge don't shove your tracks on real tight you want to leave just a little bit of slack in there maybe a sixteenth of an inch with all you need once you have it where you want to put it on mark the center then you can flip it up peel your tape off then when you put your window down on just drop it down to your marks and line it up on your top seal Lay it down and then st stick it down. Now that we have our windows stuck down here, now keep in mind that they will stick better in warm weather than they will cold. So if it's cold out, you can heat it up with a hair dryer or a blow heater, or you can even use a propane torch, but don't melt the plastic, just warm it up. Now we're ready to slide out the bottom window that we put in there just to line your tracks. Just slide that window out, then put you a mark on each side here where the bottom of your window is, okay? Now once you have that mark, slide this window down. Now that we have the marks on the window, what we're going to want to do is move your glass up about a quarter of an inch to three-eighths of an inch, and then put your mark across, and then that's the mark that you cut on so you don't have an opening below your glass. Now that we have the mark on there, you can either take the glass clear out or you can use the glass as a straight edge. You can cut along the, the glass. Keep in mind when you go to cut this material, it's always better to make real light cuts and make multiple cuts. If you try to go through all the way with one cut, it's hard to keep it straight. Cut along your glass on the bottom, then you can use your tracks as a guide on the sides. And again, make light cuts. It's better to install your windows laying on a flat surface and cutting them out. You do a better job and ends up a neater job than it is if you're doing it when the blind is already assembled. Once you have your hole cut out, you can peel the protective film off your glass, run it all the way to the top, install your handle on the inside of the blind, then drill you a small hole below the glass and then of course you'll stick your pen in from the inside. Once you have the wood frame around the inside of your windows, run you a screw through your top seal into the wood.